gonna show you how to make some sweet and sour sauce. Um, you can use it as a dipping sauce. You can make sweet and sour pork, sweet and sour chicken. In here, I have three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you like, totally up to you. I have a third of a cup of white vinegar. You can also use like a white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar, but today I'm using that. I have two thirds of a cup of water, and then I have three tablespoons of ketchup. And here's my slurry that is gonna thicken up our sauce, which is three tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Now let's get going. Okay, let's start our sauce. I'm gonna turn it on to a medium to medium low temperature. We're gonna start by adding in our water first to get some liquid in the pot. And then we're gonna add our vinegar, our white vinegar or whatever vinegar you decided to use. And then we're gonna add in our sugar. Do it slowly so it doesn't spill all over your stove. <laughs> We're gonna add in our sugar, and we're just gonna keep stirring that until it gets, uh, so this, until the sugar is dissolved, and then we'll add in our ketchup. Now, some people will add red colored um, food dye to it. I'm not, I'm not worried if it gets to be that bright, bright red that you get at like a Chinese restaurant. Um, just who wants more dye in their body. So I'm just gonna use ketchup. But you are more than welcome to add three drops of food coloring. Um, or as many as you want to get it to that con that color that you're looking for. And then once this dissolves, I'll add my ketchup in. And we're pretty much almost there. We haven't even been a minute. <laughs> and it's pretty much done. Then I'll add my ketchup. And then once that's well mixed, then I'll add in my slurry and simmer it down until it's a nice thick consistency. There, there's no more sugar left in there. So let's get our ketchup in. Scrape it all in there. Give it a good stir. You can use a whisk as well, which will work a little faster for you, but I'm not in a hurry. So you could also add, use a whisk. If you're in a hurry, it makes it go a little faster to get that ketchup fully com combined and yeah, see, that was much faster. <laughs> I'm gonna let that come to a little boil and then we'll add in our slurry. While we're waiting for that to come to a little boil, just gonna mix up our slurry. There we go. So we'll still wait for this to get to a bit of a boil. Uh, it's boiling around the edges. Let's get our slurry in there. There we go. See, it's not a bright red. If I add a few drops of food dye, it'll go bright red, but it's still gonna taste nice and sweet, like a sweet and sour sauce. Yep, it does. <laughs> and another option to add a little bit of heat, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of sweet Thai chili sauce. And we're thickening up already over here. Oh yeah, that's really thickening up quite nice, actually. See, it only takes a couple minutes to make, and you've got homemade sweet and sour sauce. You know what's in it. And look at that consistency. There we have homemade sweet and sour sauce. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to see what else I have coming up because I got lots coming for you.